Hey, what's going on everyone? Terrence here with the Home Source Realty Team and I am starting a new series starting right this second called Tuesday Real Estate with Terrence. And this is an informational series that's gonna give you just nuggets of information from week to week on real estate in hopes that it might help you and your family in making decisions that are related to your home. So what are we talking about today? We're gonna to jump right in. Jumping right in, we're gonna talk about property taxes because property tax bills are out there. And so I'm talking to two groups of uh, people here. Those of you who purchase cash or you put down enough money that you could take responsibility for your own taxes. And then most of us who financed our homes and the mortgage company is actually taking care of our taxes. Now, if you finance and you're escrowed, which is gonna be in group B, those of us who finance, if you're escrowed, your taxes are escrowed, your mortgage company will get a copy of the bill but it's always great to just reach out to them and make sure that they received it. Um, if you paid cash, the bill should be in the mail. If it's not in the mail, then you can always go out to the county website and pull it down from there. Now, there are two deadlines that I want you to focus on, December 31st and January 31st. Now, in the state of Texas, January 31st is the due date for property taxes. As long as you pay it before or on that date, you're golden. For the rest of us, what we're looking for though, is that December 31st of this year, December 31st of the current year, is a great day to have your taxes paid by because if you pay your property taxes before the end of the year, that is something that you can apply towards your current tax, uh, towards your taxes when you file the following year. Meaning there is a benefit, there's a tax benefit to paying your taxes in the current year. Again, Consult your tax professional on how that's applied. It's pretty simple, but it's if you're unsure, get with a tax professional, they can help you through that process. Now, I will say this, for those of you who are escrowed, for your account that is escrowed, that means that the mortgage company's taking care of it. Get a copy of your bill and verify whether that's through your online account or with the customer service agent, call the company and find out how much money you have in your escrow account versus what is due on your bill. Extremely important, and the reason for that is, is that if you're short in your escrow account, they will have to increase your mortgage payment at some point in time to offset what they had to pay. Meaning, if your tax amount is $3,000 and all you have in your escrow account is $2,300, your mortgage company will foot you the remainder. They'll give you that other $700 to pay those taxes, but then they're gonna take them from you by increasing your mortgage payment, whether that's over six months, 12 months, 24 months, that's something that you work out with them. But the point of that is, is that your escrow account will actually increase, or your mortgage payment will increase to offset what the mortgage company had to cover for you. It's a lot of information. So let's go back over that really quick. If your escrow account is short and you need and your taxes need to be paid, your mortgage company will pay those taxes, no matter what the, the, the cost of your taxes are. If you've got 5,000 and your, your taxes were 8,000, they will pay that difference, $3,000, but they will pass that cost on to you in the form of increased mortgage payments. So don't get shocked. If you're not prepared for an increase of mortgage payment due to um, taxes that need to be covered. So it's important to know what's in your escrow account because if you're short between now and the time that they're gonna pay them, you can actually uh, put that money into your account through a payment. You call the company and say, I want this to go directly to my escrow, right? So there are different ways that you can manage that process. So it's important to know where you're sitting at with your escrow. For my cash buyers, Again, one of the greatest things that I could ever tell you is if you haven't done this year after year, this is your first year, having a lump sum of cash to pay taxes, four, five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000 can be a shock to you when you've forgotten about it over the course of three or four or five months, depending on when you purchase. So it's important for you to get a separate account that is not easily accessible that you can put money into similar to a payment um, and that is only used for your taxes. First year, most buyers forget all about it, and what it ends up doing is putting them in a shock. And the reason for that is, is because at the end of each year, tax bills are normally out in October, or they're available, 
and they're due again in December and January. Well, they're coming out right around the time of Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's. And these are three days that we spend a lot of money. And so none of us want little Timmy not to have his favorite, you know, fire truck, uh, you know, transformer. Nobody wants little Timmy to be out of a toy. So, you know, parents were like, oh, you know, I'll just, I'll, I'll pay it when I get a chance out after the new year. Uh, don't put yourself in a situation where you're panicking to come up with the cash to pay your property taxes. We'll get into uh, the, the importance or the risk of not paying property taxes in a different video, but that is what I wanna leave with you today. Property taxes are out. If you have questions, call me, 682-465-3896. Um, you can email me at tRobinson at homesourcert.com and either one, I'll help you. I don't care if you're a client, not a client, if I don't know you, whatever. If you know somebody that has a question on this, forward the video to them, have them give me a call and I will help them through the process as best I can. What I don't know or what I'm not skilled or licensed to say, I will tell you to go to that particular um, professional for assistance. I'm not a tax expert. I don't have license in that. So I won't tell you anything about how to do your taxes, but I can tell you about real estate. Last but not least, if it's you, friend, family member, um, associate, business partner, what else can I think of? Coworker, great boss, sucky boss, uh, spouse that you're getting ready to get rid of. Um, hmm, you're getting ready to get married. Enemies, I don't care. Anybody you know that's talking about real estate and they're saying, hey, I think I need to buy a house or I need to sell a house, this is a guy. Any referrals that you can send my way, I would love that. I'm always looking to help uh, family and friends out. I'm always looking to help out associates. I'm even looking to help out enemies. It's great for me because I get to stand on the sides and just help you get a house. And I get to hear all the juice that goes on in between. And I can't tell anybody except for my wife. So check it out. Have a great day. If you need anything, give me a call. Terrence Robinson, 682-465-3896. Until next Tuesday, have a great, blessed, safe, day stay safe stay warm if you're in a cold area like uh, we are today and please wear your mask and keep yourself safe